Hello there, my name is Henry a Canon Freak and due to a viewer's request I will show you how I did the transitions for my reloading as art series. I will show you this in Sony Vegas, however once you understood the concept you can apply this to, for example, Adobe Premiere or After Effects as well. This is a rather simple concept, but to begin with we will need to prepare some files, namely whatever it is that we want to use for this. This could be an image or text and it works best if it is in plain color. You can create this in whatever graphic software you are using, for me it's Photoshop, but I'm sure you will find a way in maybe GIMP as well. What I have prepared right here is this orange text on a transparent background, it says transitions and we will need two versions of this. The one you see on screen and one that just contains the outlines. So go ahead, save or export this one in a file format that supports transparency, for example PNG, don't use JPEG on this one. And next up to uh, get the outlines, one way we could do this is by decreasing the fill, not the opacity, the fill to 0%, double click on the layer which brings up the layer styles menu and check the strokes. Next up set the position to inner, you could play around with outer or in the middle but I think it looks best with the position set to the uh, inner side. Adjust the size if needed, for me I think 10% works just well, uh, 10 pixels I mean. Hit OK and save this one as well. Import this into Vegas and drag this onto your timeline. Create a new video track and stack both on top of each other. Uh, next up, decide on the length you want the transition to have. You can all adjust this uh, later on and all to your liking. Select uh, the position you need and just split the track right here. And go to the uh, upper left corner and drag out uh, the fade in that you see not all the way uh, up, just uh, where you need the transition to be completed. Let's go right here and go to the transition step. You could use the gradient wipe for this or the linear wipe, which will uh, this is the one that uh, I'm using and just select one that's up to your liking. Let's go with uh, the one from above with zero feather. Uh, I preferred with uh, no feather but as I said it's up to you. So now what you should be seeing is uh, the text transitioning with uh, this linear wipe. Um, now use the filled one right here and put it on top of the one that we are uh, fading in. Uh, you could also put this wherever you want this. Uh, I like to have a little uh, break, just a few frames between transitioning and uh, filling it. And next up, just fill this one as well. Uh, let's go for the same transition again, zero feather. And you can see that our text is now filling. So it starts with nothing, the outlines pop up and they get filled with the color. And now we will just have to do this, well, vice versa in reverse. So just cut this wherever you want, drag the underlying track uh, um, below it go to the upper right corner and go to the fade out. Let's make it a little longer right here. Yeah, this could work. And uh, yeah, let's use this one, zero feather again. You can see it's now vanishing. And let's 
I don't know. End it here. Fade out. Drag it onto the uh, medium that you, the media file that you're using. There you go. <laughs> That's the whole magic behind it. So you can see it's fading in, gets filled, stays there for a while. The fill vanishes again. We are left with the outlines. Maybe drag this out for a while. And there is the fade out. So you can apply this uh, wherever you need it. You can just put a um, video file in a track below it. So it's up to your liking. And you asked for every transitions I used. I think that's all I used for this. So I hope this helped you a lot. If you have any questions for the things I'm working on, just write a comment. I can make a video about it. And well then, thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helped you. And until we see you again, auf Wiedersehen and goodbye.